to my very first episode of acne therapy i am yeti tulum kiza some of y'all know me some of y'all don't so that's absolutely fine and yeah basically this page is about acne therapy acne everything acne related and just the idea of this page is to embrace um acne and to acknowledge the fact that um you're beautiful even with acne um because i know i've struggled for most of my life with just like insecurities when it comes to my face also the most important reason why i i am starting this segment in my youtube channel and opening up a whole new youtube page is because i've struggled with just um accepting my acne and accepting um how it looks on my face you know um and so it's just been a struggle for most of my life to kind of accept that that's how i look like um i had to build a lot of confidence there's a point in time where i started working on my body and i started working out and i started you know trying to fix my body to kind of be like at least i might not have a pretty face but at least i have an okay body you know what i mean one time i've had a friend ask me if you were to give at least one feature that you have that you think is your worst or least favorite and i once said my face see my acne isn't too bad i'll do like a close-up if i can and you'll see that my acne isn't too bad but like obviously um it was at this moment that she knew um also i uh, my acne is pretty much very genetic because I know my mom had a lot of acne. Probably worse than experiences, what I do to mm, kind of combat my acne. I am not an expert, nor is half the information that I'm going to tell you. It's not proven, but it's like stuff that worked for me. And I want it to be like an interactive session where you guys can actually give me suggestions on what you think might work for me. And obviously certain things might work for some people and they might not work for others and that's completely fine that's why you need to kind of and everyone's everyone's acne journey is different you know and so you need to find what kind of works for, with you and you'll see what's gonna happen is there's gonna be parts of this segment where i'm gonna try a couple of recommended and um products that are said to work you know but obviously because i don't have that much money I'm a student in Cape Town, so obviously I can't go to a dermatologist or you know that type of stuff. So I'll basically buy stuff I can afford. I'll use it for a month. I'll try to be consistent in my routines to give you guys a true reflection of I have the outbreaks when I'm about to go into my periods and after my periods. I also have um because i have a really dry skin um and my head because i usually have braids on so my head really has a lot of dandruff just on a general basis so i need to constantly keep washing it and so if my hair is a bit too dirty that kind of contributes to what happens to my face um also i can't have hair sitting on my face for too long because it causes a lot of pimples on my forehead and most of my mine is on my cheeks on my nose line and a lot of my forehead certain places are better than others you know like this side tends to heal a lot faster than this side and i have a couple of spots from old um, and also this is one of the reasons why i don't wear makeup uh because i was under the not necessarily the impression but i was always like um if I cover up my acne and if I cover up my spots and all that's on my face and I cover it up with makeup, people are going to get used to me with, you know, makeup having covered up. And when I don't have it on, people might say stuff like, oh, she actually looks prettier with makeup on. Oh, you actually look a lot more presentable with this on. You know what I mean? And I wanted people to accept me as I am and get used to the fact that this is what my face looks like um because it just i was just very insecure about it and i think till this day i actually don't wear makeup um i think that's one thing 
I've developed in terms of just those insecurities. They don't bother me as much anymore because I've worked on it. But like, I know when I put on makeup for a friend or anything of that sort, um, or if someone wants to try something out on my face, um, those insecurities do come back. But like, we live and we learn and we, we, I will get to a point where that doesn't really matter. But in the meantime, that's I think about most of what's going to happen on this YouTube channel and Instagram page. I'm going to post a lot of IGTVs. I'm going to try to keep them as short as possible. Also, I tend to talk a bit fast, so you can kind of tell from this one video. Um, and also, I'm trying to, I'm speaking pretty loud is because I'm trying to project my voice so that the noise from the outside doesn't then taint my video. I want this to be a very interactive session. I really, really hope you guys will interact and you know um so i don't only produce stuff that i want to produce but also stuff that you would actually like to see um so basically i think this is about the end of my introduction video uh please do share this video with your friends your family your friends of friends your friends of friends of friends your grand your uncle your aunt everyone you know and you know if it relates to you do reach out um i'm more than willing to respond and yeah i think this is about the end of it i will see you next time on the next video with the next activity thank you very much and goodbye